hi everyone so welcome to today's video today's video is just going to be a laid back colour and chat we're going to be colouring in Spooklet sketchbook by Carla Magana I know I did previously mention that I was going to my next colour and chat was going to be on an original page but I don't really feel like working on that right now and I want to do a colour and chat and I am working on a page in Spooklet sketchbook so I just thought would finish that off i have done the marker work and the marker was drying i don't think it was drying now because the markers that i used are quite new so it shouldn't be drying out but i had the fan on and i think the fan was just like making it evaporate more so i might do another layer over it quickly or i might i'm actually not or maybe quick I was going to say I would I'd do it with glitter gel pen, but the thing is, I'm going to be adding a glitter glue border, so that's going to be a bit much, isn't it? So I just grab the mark and we'll, we'll get, um, I'll just do a quick base of that. So I'm just going to quickly do a, another base of that actually and see if it smooths this stuff out a bit more um because i don't really like the way that this is not very smooth so the markers that i did use for this are the shuttle art markers it's the skin and hair tone series oh well series set whatever but it does have like this dull cosmos purple in it so that's what i used where is it if you can hear singing my brother's like got his headphones in and bed and he's singing away to himself it is quarter to three in the morning um but maybe brother are both night creatures so i'll just quickly do this background so first of all i want to say how is everyone So yeah, as I said, um, I was going to do the original colouring page, but then I just decided I want to finish this page on camera. So it's not really got that much juice left in it, and I haven't used it that much. So, like I literally only hold them last month i got them like last i think i got them in may so it shouldn't even be running out so that's quite disappointing what i might do is just leave it like standing up like that somewhere and then we might go in at the end so we'll just leave that but all of the marker bases are from that shuttle art set and the reds did it as well the red is so patchy this red and I just haven't really used them that much so I don't and it, I'm not storing them weirdly I'm storing them on the side like this so I'm not too happy about that so anyway Marker bases them shit a lot markers. I'm gonna add some makeup to our face, just a little bit of blush and stuff, and I'm just gonna use some Prisma colours. I'm just using I always forget which side it is. So I'm just gonna be using the red. Prisma colours which is right here so let's get into some chatting I am filming at a different desk well a different location so if you see more shadows I'll actually move this out of the way um, just so it's not like causing a massive shadow I have like two lights here like either side of us and I'm filming on like a glossy white table instead of the matte one that I usually colour at. And then I bought like a new tripod 
and like these lights just so I could like kind of make a little filming area where I'm sitting on my bed and I can bring a table over to my bed because I know I previously mentioned that my mum that has used my sister's old room as a craft room and I'm still going to be using that room and it's still got my computer and everything in there and it's got my bigger desk in there but to be honest I just hate filming at a desk I am more comfortable mentally and physically just sitting on my bed and I've just filmed another video I uh, filmed me call I'm going to Patreon pages so like the Patreon finished pages so the last part to the finished pages that I have currently got of Carla's since now and then everything beyond that video now will be coming up in finished pages videos that's the thing like you can do collections and finished pages but like they'll always be growing so you'll just see whatever I call out more in the future in future finished pages but I, I, that video was requested a while ago so I just thought that I would do it so I did ask how you are didn't I so yeah let us know in the comment section how everybody is because I always love to know how everybody is as well I don't like to be just selfish and think of myself even though it is a colouring chat about myself so like what's going on in my life and to me, I'm not that interesting, but when I will sit and watch other people colour and chat, I'm very interested in them. So I say to my brother, like, oh my god, I get sick of like listening to my own voice when I edit and stuff. But then I think like other people who are watching you who say you like you like my videos, obviously you aren't watching or well, you aren't listening to my voice 24-7 like I am. Yeah, just adding a little bit of makeup to her. She looked like kind of like a Mexican salsa dancer or something to me. Or a Spanish salsa dancer, I don't know. So that's why I went for the reds. And to be honest, I just picked that skin tone set up because I knew it had some reds and the purple and like this nice light pink. And then I was just like, done it. I just quickly done it yesterday. This is the book that I'm going to focus on, focus quite a lot of my attention on to finish in next because I do absolutely adore this book as well though so I just always want to colour in it but I like there's just so many books that I have and I watch videos and I'm just like I get overwhelmed a little bit by my collection and how many books I have but then I think to myself buying books like does help is it's like me therapy buying books just looking through the pictures like you don't have to colour everything like even just owning a book and looking at how beautiful the pictures are can brighten your mood and stuff so I just think that I need to like just be less hard on myself and not colouring in all of them I have been in a slight colouring slump not like a lot but I have been colouring but like usually I used to colour 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 but now like the last few weeks it seems to think that everybody's like kind of in a little bit of a slump but I am still colouring I am still doing buddy colours next month um I don't know if I'm gonna be accepting any well I've accepted well I'm gonna be doing three more body colours in road I, was, I keep on saying road deco deco why it's not even that book it's actually deco dolls colours no book I want to do three body colours in that with three people um so them are the only ones that I'm going to be accepting going forward but like next month I'm not going to be setting up any any like more buddy colours 
because I want to focus on creating some original pages for like I'm hoping to just get like a little bit of a collection to maybe make my own colouring book but I'm not going to say for sure I don't know like where that's going to go or what's happening so I'll update you on that but I do want to work on something to get my own colouring book out there because if you didn't know what I did start creating me original some original pages to post on Etsy but what I was doing really is just finding pictures that I liked on Etsy and then putting them in Procreate and like kind of using them for inspiration to create my own pages whereas with the colouring book like the love your inner child page that came from like my imagination and that was just something that I drew from my own head with like no no reference or anything and quite a lot of you like it and it just means the world to us and it is actually based on my inner child and in therapy at the minute we are working on um like my therapist was saying something about like yeah in a like is it yeah in a child like oh like what am i saying right so she was like sharing with us like everybody has like three sides to them or something and then like there's a child an adult and a parent but obviously i'm not a parent so like i kind of only have two is the adult and the child and we're just basically discussing how to how to love love myself and like build up the self-esteem of that inner child and you know from past situations and stuff that I've been through as a kid and just like you know the everyday bullies society's views and being overweight and just being so like doubtful of myself all the time like just you know a lot of things I've just never had any confidence and I guess I've beat myself up a little bit and I guess that like I don't know like in therapy like it just I guess that inner child didn't get as much love and attention as she needs and now I'm working on giving her the love and attention she needs and I'm working on doing that from within me own self so yeah next i think that's it for makeup i don't really want to do anything she's all right she's got like some blush maybe we'll just add a little bit to her nose i don't want to make her look like a clown though but that's fine so that's all for our makeup really so now we're going to get the jelly rolls out so i did like reorganize everything again and uh if you watched me colouring vlog, I showed you like I had them in this sort of like acrylic organiser. But I changed everything around because I want to get back into my journaling. So I've like put all my journaling pens in that acrylic organiser. I'll show you at some point. Um, and I've just put all my jelly rolls in here. And I want to get out the ready pencils, the red pens so we've got red moonlight we've got the red glaze we've got the red metallic and let's go with that and I will also get out the gold um, metallic where are you the gold metallic which I'm running out of but I do have a backup don't worry I think I might get out the purple metallic as well and then we'll get out the souffle the pink souffle and should we do some pink in a pink glaze in her hair I don't know we'll get it out see what happens And then I am looking for my light pink jelly roll. 
like there's a light in a dark and i'm pretty sure that's the light one because there's one that's called like pink and then there's one that's called rose and like i can never tell until they're just they're side by side like which one's which and that is definitely light the light one because i'm running out of rose i have a backup don't worry i just made a purchase of some pens um like some backups of the ones that i was running out of so those ones are what we're working with you all know how much i love my jelly rolls but for that gold skull we need the hybrids we need the hybrid gold where are you i've got like everything on plastic pencil cases so they all like stick together so, there it is on the top because i was just using it the other day and that one's nearly running out so i do have a backup but i purchased a backup backup we cannot be running out of that colour so those are the pens that I'm going to be using so I'm going to take the glaze first of all and I'm going to oh I forgot the red um, stardust it's like when you've got that many of the like I've got that many jelly balls <laughs> because you yes, know it's my favourite. I don't use the red jelly roll that much, I found it. So it's still got quite a bit left. So we're using the red jelly roll and I'm gonna colour in our eyelids with this and then go over with the glaze. So yeah, that's a little bit about what I've been doing in therapy. I'm still going to my therapy. Um, I go on Mondays. And I, I, I'm enjoying um, talking to me counsellor and stuff. She's really nice. I really like her. I can feel like a slight mental shift in sort of the fact that I am being kind to myself. I don't beat myself up as much and that's nice um I don't beat myself up as much especially on my bad days I have noticed that and I don't know I guess I've I've came to like more realizations about myself and stuff like that so it's helping it is a very slow process but we'll get somewhere in the end I suppose we just got to keep going and then I am helping myself with all my hobbies and my art so as I was saying that love you in our child um picture was based on me and my own like in a in a child I guess and um so I wanted to like piggyback off that and sort of make me colouring book about like an idea that was from me and not from pictures on Pinterest or whatever just like pictures that I've took inspiration from like I don't really want to do that I want to have the idea from my own brain not that there's anything wrong with like getting the pic inspiration from reference photos um but I want to like create my own kind of original character sort of thing and I'm not going to do anything like major for a colouring book I kind of want to do like just maybe 10 to 15 pages like a very um, even maybe 20 if I can get like enough ideas down Um, I want to do some like core pages for like mental health bits and pieces and then also just some images of like the same um girl but like in different sort of themes like um i've done one that where she's around butterflies and then flowers and stuff like that it's just gonna be like a fun well this is what i'm aiming for anyway like just for a bit of fun and a bit of like i don't know i guess child not like childish but like 
taking us back to the like the style of things that like was out when I was a kid. Like if you're in the UK and like you know Tracy Beaker and stuff like that. Like that kind of style is definitely takes me back to childhood. Like Jacqueline Wilson and she used to have her um I used to read her books. Well, I read a few of her books when I was at lunch at school. I never used to like go in the library. Uh, never. What am I on about? I never used to like go in the cafeteria. So I used to sit in the foyer of me school and read. Like they had this little library bookshelf court thing. And I used to read books. So I used to love reading. I'm just not into it that much anymore. Um, so yeah, I used to do that and I read a few of her books and I guess that's why it's so, it's like 2000s CBBC, <laughs> early 2000s CBBC vibes is what I got from like this colouring book that I saw on Little Pickles, um, Colouring Life I think it is. And so I was like, no more books. I'm not ordering no more books. And then I saw that book. It's Hello Happiness by Kim Geyser, something like that. And then Coco Wyo brought out Deco Dolls. No, what am I on about? No, not Deco Dolls. <laughs> Creepy Dolls. Um, so, you know, I had to get that. And then they'll be coming in a hole. I think to myself, no more books, you've got enough. But then I'm just like, I don't want it though. And then buying books, like, I don't know, just helps us. I guess it, it is a hobby in itself, like it does help give you that little bit of satisfaction. It's like a thing, I just get so overwhelmed by the amount of stuff I have, but then I'm thinking, it's a bloody colouring book. You can keep it for as long as you want. It never expires. Unless like, it rips or something. But You can colour in it a year from now. Two years from now. You can do whatever you want. It's it's going to like last you. If you look after it. I still want to like try and complete some of them. I need to do an updated video. Or something on me. 10 books to complete. Because that is just a fail. To be honest it's a fail. This is one of my 10 books to complete and I think that I might get the collar ones done and that is basically it. I think I'm going to have to do, I'm going to, I think I'm just going to abandon my previous spread that I did in my colouring journal and then I'm going to do a new one and maybe just focus on five books. But I say that, but then I, I have completed one of them. I did complete Bell Pipstrel. So it's not like an extreme fail, but the rest of them, it's going to be very tight. Tight, so I'm like in two minds on whether or not to to do it. Because honestly, like I haven't done a lot. I haven't made a lot of progress. And then I'm thinking, oh, well, you should focus on them. Like focus on the 10 books to finish. But then I'm always like, I want to colour in the new books that I have. And it's not like a time issue. Like, I don't... Like, obviously, when people say, oh, there's so many... Like, I say there's so much, many books to colour and not enough time. But I understand that for people who have children and stuff like that. So they definitely won't have enough time. But I have, like, a lot of time on my hands, you know. I don't work. Um, because of my mental health but my sleeping schedule is all over and then I like to colour but I also like to diamond paint and I like to journal and I like to some well I sometimes journal Um, it's like a very on and off thing for us but like I feel like I have so much time on my hands but like just my time goes nowhere <laughs> Uh, so it's just annoying but again there is still so many books to colour that you just can't physically colour them even if you had all the time in the world anyway though you can still appreciate 
the artwork in the books but Carla's books are definitely definitely my favourites and my go to's so like I said I just haven't been reaching for colouring as much as I previously did but I really want to more I feel like it's just taken us a while to this is like I think this is what's happening really I think I'm just trying to put everything I have into a page and it's just taken us like too long like a buddy colour that I just did um, although it turned out lovely it did it turned out amazing it just took us too long to colour and then I got like annoyed because it was taking too long so I think from now on I just need to do I need to like try and just do pages it's like it's not the fact that I don't want to put me all into a page like I do but when it takes us that long it just gets annoying so I like these color ones because they're like much quicker because like that one that I did it was in Coco Wyo and I did like marker base and then I went in with pencils and did shading and then I went around everything and I had like just little niggly bits and although it, it looked really nice it did take us a while but then I did another one and I just did marker and some like gel pen didn't do any shading and I enjoyed that so much more so I think instead of trying to make it look like my best work and like spending so much time on it you can just achieve the same amount of basically enjoyment out of using less on a page I guess if this makes any sense because I do love the way it turned out but yeah it's just there's no point in carrying on colouring a page if it's just causing you stress because that's not why we're colour it wasn't causing us stress but I guess it was just like I really want to get this finished and I'm a bit like over it now and that's not how I want to feel on pages so I have to think about like what what we um what we goals are for pages and if all of that work is really worth it if, it, if I'm just going to get to that stage of not like not enjoying the process but I just love the I love the finished result I'm using the jelly wool glaze now by the way and I don't know if it was just like I wasn't enjoying the process or if I'm just like in a, I was in a shitty mood like last week it was just really I was just in a bad mood um so maybe that was like why I wasn't enjoying it as well and tonight I'm not in the best of moods to be honest with you I've got a lot of anxiety and every day I do really to be honest but yesterday and the day before I felt a little bit less sort of chaotic but today I just feel like the anxiety when you just want to uh, like if, if you just go for anxiety you know what I mean because it's just like so annoying it's like go away like you've got nothing to feel anxious about so why are you like so anxious <laughs> and then my mood's so low so i'm just trying to get lost in my hobbies but like my brain's just it's not even if it's thinking about like anything in particular you just i just have the feelings like people are like oh well what are you thinking about to make you anxious and i don't know if i'm thinking about something subconsciously but like right now i'm trying to just you know chill and talking to me friends on the internet that aren't really here right now until they watch the video but like just trying my best to get through the night i don't have anything to be anxious about you know i'm not home alone i don't feel like i'm in danger you know it's just i've got a roof over my head i've got electricity i've got 
my mom's downstairs in bed my brother's here like i've got so many good things here and i don't feel like i should have this feeling and that's what's annoying about it because like you can't really take it away if you don't know how like why it's there and it's just very frustrating and as much as i do love coloring like i know people say like coloring helps to relax you in diamond painting it doesn't necessarily help to relax us it helps to sort of like coloring doesn't really relax us it just distracts us and um gives us like a creative outlet and it enables us to be creative and just guess it just relieves stress and like i do enjoy it and it does put us in a better mood but it doesn't relax relaxes if you know what i mean but it does lift my mood saying the beautiful colours and stuff but like only slightly like i was saying like on the surface it does but deep down like your feelings are still my feelings stay like unchanged because there's like just that root of there i don't know like you aren't my therapists <laughs> Yeah, like you on my therapist um sorry if i'm triggering it, triggering anyone or being like a downer i'm just being honest and trying not to complain at the same time because i did i did um film a coloring video like coloring chat as i mentioned in me completed pages on the flower girl part two and i was just in a bad mood that day and just was not was not in the right headspace to be filming a video but i was just moaning away and like i'm not like i know that i'm not like the worst worst off in the world and i know that there's people out there that are way worse than me and there's people out there that have a lot less than me and i'm not complaining about that you know I do have good points in my life and I'm not saying that I don't. Um, I'm not like saying that. I don't have a good family. Certain members of it are a little bit judgy and I would prefer just for them to keep their mouth shut but like overall my family is very supportive and loving and you know, I have have a good I have a good um family and a good life on the outside but like still this feeling never goes away and I don't know why. And it sucks when you wake up in a good mood one day and then the next day you don't and it's just like you know how it feels to feel like that little bit of hope and then it's just like the next day it's just taken away and it's really frustrating and annoying and it's like you just have to con like it is a, a basically like a mind battle like you just have to constantly tell yourself that it's going to be okay tomorrow but then if tomorrow comes and it's not okay then it's going to be okay tomorrow like constantly keeping up the strength to fight it is quite exhausting mentally and physically you know i don't go out i don't go i can't walk very far you know i'm ashamed to admit it i am very i'm quite a large person and i don't go out i cannot walk very far without me back hurting and being extremely out of breath it's not nice and i would love to change it i would and i've tried on many occasions but then my depression just gets in the way and i just don't feel strong enough and that's really sad uh, and i'm hoping i just hope 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 that a day comes where i do feel strong enough but I'm not going to talk about that because it's just 
can lead to other feelings that I don't really want to feel. So let's get something brighter to talk about. I did apply for monetization and if you obviously if you are watching me channel and there has ads on then like I don't know why I'm saying that we did get we did get accepted so there will be ads on the video um if you've got YouTube premium you wouldn't notice but we do have monetization on the channel now and yeah I just want to thank everyone who has ever watched my channel although like I know that it's not like it's not I'm not going to make a lot of money and it, I know that it doesn't it doesn't like change your life like making colouring videos like the money you make but the fact that people sat and watched my channel for 4,000 hours and a thousand people have subscribed and I've hit like a goal that YouTube itself has set to say like your channel's a success at this sort of Not that below it's not a success, like I don't want to say success but it feels like I've hit a goal and it feels like I've achieved something and for somebody as I say that is so like has been so down on myself for like so long and trying to change my own patterns like I have it does like help to say like look what you've done like you've actually achieved something and you've done it yourself like nobody else has helped us well obviously you have by watching us and stuff but like um i was the one that made the channel and i make the videos and you are the ones that watch them so it's all up to you but if i didn't start the channel then i wouldn't have the channel to i don't <laughs> hopefully you get what I mean so like it is a very it's a celebration for me but also it's such a thank you to use because I wouldn't have it if you didn't watch did that make any sense coming out of my mouth so yeah I'm just I feel like I've achieved something and it did put a little pep me step so again i just want to say thank you it's gorgeous you know if you put like a glitter underneath a glaze pen it's stunning absolutely stunning i think i'm gonna get the yellow glaze out now to put over that gold so yeah we're all monetized now um so if anyone sits through the ads then thank you i know ads are annoying so if you want to skip them skip them if you want but as i say like i know it's not like a life-changing amount of money and stuff like that and it's not all about the numbers it's about the enjoyment and i am actually enjoying making youtube videos more and the editing process is not as sort of tedious as it once was when my mood was so low um it's i couldn't film i could film five videos in one day and not now i couldn't but i could film like five videos in one week if i was like having a really good week and then it's the editing that noises that it like takes takes a slower to get up on the channel But I'm trying my best to get them edited and uploaded within a timely manner. But yeah, I do want to just focus more on my channel and make it me escape, as the name suggests. And I've just got like such lovely comments of people and everyone just is so lovely. And I've made so many lovely friends and it's just, it's actually like, Probably the best thing I could have done is make this channel because I feel like I've actually found 
my place and sort of my purpose. I knew I had picked up the wrong pen. Damn. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll just go over it. Shh, it didn't happen. So, um, yeah, that's the structure is now. So, yeah, it's the best thing that I could have done. And I'm really glad that I did it. And that I found adult colouring and found this community. I feel like I found where I belong and a place where I can thrive and a place where I'm meant to meant to grow so that's good like although I still struggle um every day there is good points in my life and I just have to try and remember that and it's a journey and like I say I know that there's bigger things going on in the world and the world's a messed up place right now to be honest I don't even want to think about it it just gives us more anxiety it's just like it just boggles my mind so I don't want to bring any of that negativity to my channel but it just it's like you just sit and you just think like what the actual f goes through some people's heads But that's all I'm going to say on that. What else can we talk about? Oh, if anyone's wondering about my granda, um, he's okay. He's still in hospital. He has to get like a peg um, fitted. So that's not the best thing, but he's sick of his life in hospital, but he's still okay. I haven't been up to see him, but um, I've talked to him. Well, I said hello at home on video chat. When my mum went to see him a couple of times, but I hate hospitals. I just never have the energy to go out and like get ready and hardly go out. So I will go up and see him when he comes out of hospital. But we just still don't know when that will be. But he's doing good, so um, thank you to everybody who asked about him. Um, what else? I have no idea how long this video is going to be. I'm just going <laughs> to... How long have I actually recorded for? 45 minutes already? Well, it might be a long one, people. I'm sure that I'm going to enjoy editing this one. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, What else? What have I been watching? Mamie Mam watched a new horror film called The Black Phone. And that was good. Oh, and I watched the new Bob's Burgers movie. Um, as if you know, if you're not new to my channel, then you'll know that I love Bob's Burgers. It's my favourite show. It's my comfort show. I watch it like almost every single day. And I watched the movie. I have to say, I was slightly disappointed because... And don't really like the characters that were in it weren't my favourite characters. Like I thought it was gonna be better than it actually was, but I still love it because it's Bob's Burgers and I love parts of it, but I just I think that they should have included more of the the better characters. So I do hope that they come out with another movie at some point. But I like the premise of like the situation. Um, that they did in the movie I just wish that it had been a different character like a more entertaining character um, that had committed the crime but you know it's Bob's Burgers still love it um, but the black phone as well me I really enjoyed that my mum said it was good but uh, I don't know if she enjoyed it as much as I did I thought it was really interesting Basically, it's about a man, a, Ethan Hawke actually play, plays him, if you know who Ethan Hawke is. Mamie Mam love horror films, by the way. We don't watch films as much these days because I'm just never really in a film mood. So I don't watch a lot of films these days, but 
that one came out and it looked really good so it's about like this man um played by ethan hawke they call him the grabber and he goes and kill like he goes around and he goes around and basically grabs young young men or young children not like they're basically like che teenagers teenagers and you know you can guess what happens to them um so yeah and then he grabs one kid and there's like this he's called finney this young lad and then there's like a phone on the wall in the room in the basement way he has he has him and like the ghosts of the dead children are like helping him to get out and i just like the thing that i thought was so interesting i don't want to like spoil it for anyone that hasn't seen it but the thing that i thought was so interesting is each one like taught him to do something else like as an escape as, as a way to escape but it didn't work but like at the end everything that they had taught him like it all came together is a way to get out like you know what i mean it's like i love it when things like all things like happen like that and it makes like the story better like it just like really rounds out the film so yeah and his sister he's a uh, little his little sister she was a good character i like too so that is the glitter gel pen where is the i'm gonna take the light pink well the pink glaze and i'm gonna go over these i don't know if there's even any i think it's a bit stuck i never had a plan for this video or any particular plan for this page i just pulled out the jelly rolls and just did what came to mind or just did what I usually do. It's probably like a habit by now. So yeah, we used that. Um, we used that film. No, we we'll watched that film. I watched Bob's Burgers. That was really good. It was really good. I just had such high expectations, and I guess I was a little bit disappointed. But I still just love the Belchers, so like I kind of complain. <laughs> So, I don't really, like my mind just went completely blank and I can't really think of much else I wanted to say and the video is probably quite long but I'm not that far off being finished the page so what I might do is just kick his into time lapse and he can just watch us finish the page to some nice music. So hopefully that will help. So yeah, um, I'll just say, well, hopefully that what I'm on about. Hopefully that'll be okay. Um, what it was? I thought there was a spider on my wall. I'm really, really paranoid about spiders. I found three in my room within the last few days, and there's so many spiders, too many that I don't want to see. So now I'm like looking at my room, like looking everywhere. I'm thinking it's a spider. I'm sure I just see them. Like I actually dream about seeing them. It's really, it was really traumatic. Right, so I'm going to kick his into time lapse now and I'll be back for an outro. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same I don't really want to hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Oh 
okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today. I promise that I've never felt this way. I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away So I don't really know what I was thinking saying that we haven't got that much left so I'll just do it as a time lapse because there is still like a good chunk of what I want to do where I still need to like outline everything, do my eyelashes, do the glitter glue border, go around that so that's like another like good um hour and a bit work probably. So there's no way that I'm going to fit that into this video without it being like super long. So I'm just going to leave it here. <laughs> there was a little bit of a time lapse but I'm just going to leave it here. So this is how she's looking right now. And then you will be able to see her totally finished at the end of the month or probably like sometime. I'll try and do my finished pages earlier. Okay. I know that like I usually get them up like in the middle of the other month like the next month but i'll try and get them up earlier um this month well i'll try and get them up earlier in august because i usually do end up doing them about like a week after like the first week of august sometime so anyway you'll just say her when you say her when you say the finished pages or she'll probably be on instagram before that so i'm just gonna leave you there um and that's it so i'm just gonna leave it there hopefully you have enjoyed listening to us hopefully i've made sense i just always hope that i make sense because like me my mind goes faster than my mouth and sometimes it doesn't really say cohesive sentences so anyway you all know what to do if you like the video if you've got the end, leave that purple heart in the description box, not the description box, the comment section, just so I know um, I love seeing them. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed something about this video and let us know how everybody is in the comment section as well. Just say hi and also just another thank you so much for the thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. So you all know what to do if you want to subscribe and all that if you aren't. You all know how YouTube works. So that is that and I'm just going to say thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye. I was always in denial of what I saw